okay good evening guys uh, i would be uh, taking your intune demo and i would be the instructor for the intune class as well so i have about 11 years of it experience out of which all of it are end user computing i teach three courses application packaging SCCM and Intune. I've been working in Intune from the time it was part of the SCCM node, yeah, a small node in SCCM. It's been many years that I've been working in Intune as well. Now, currently, it has been so from 2019 2020, it has been sought out of sought after, you know, with the clients. A lot of requirements are coming in. Market is opened up by Intune. So it's a great opportunity that you've got um, to be trained in this and to crack interviews for a better pay scale and for better opportunities. Uh, so I think you guys are in the ideal stage that you want to take a leap from your existing job roles to the next level. I understand that from looking at your experiences. Um, yeah, so uh, before you joined uh, Anitya, I was telling about myself, 11 years of IT experience, and I teach SCCM packaging and Intune. So this course is completely going to be of Intune. And, uh, uh, and then later I started asking about the attendees who have joined. Okay. Uh, next, I see a few people so have been joined. Can put your, so, so, sir, can we put your number also on chat? Don't mind. Uh, uh, actually, I am not supposed to share my number as part of uh, my agreement with the institute. So, uh, they will give you the details if you need anything. If you want to talk to me also, I'll just put the conference on that later stage. But uh, if you enroll for the class, you will be part of a WhatsApp group where I would be answering all your questions. I would be in constantly in touch with you even after the training is over. You will be touch from you know going forward forever. Okay, even after you do you do any production activity, you have problem. You can always reach out to me in the future as well. Okay, cool. I think I've covered all of them. Uh, okay. Uh, it's good that most of you guys are either Windows or SCCM and Intune is uh, it is a Microsoft tool, okay, uh, which which is uh, been mostly marketed by Microsoft as an alternative to SCCM, okay, on the cloud side, okay, as an alternative to your SCCM on the cloud side. Now, what are the kind of job opportunities that are there for Intune, and what is the skill set that is expected when it comes to Intune currently okay so it is job market is hot it's really hot so uh, even when i take a lot of interviews i don't get people with good Intune skill set on the windows platform i do get people with Intune skill set on the mobile platforms okay but not on the windows platform that is becoming a, a lot of scarcity there okay now to clear an Intune interview, how much skill set do you need? Uh, now, if you start, uh, you know, after this class, if you start attending the Intune interviews, you should be able to clear it without and and trust me, they don't because the other side, the interview will not be knowing much of Intune because they are also still exploring. So uh, um, the interview rounds will be pretty easy if it is for, uh, you know, uh, uh, Intune. Okay, now. So how much can you ask for? So now anybody with three to five years of experience, okay, you can go somewhere from minimum of 12 lakhs. 12 lakhs minimum if you know Intune. And rest is all up to how you know, your experience and all those things. You can go up to uh, 20 or uh, beyond that as well. Okay, so it depends on, but if you have three to five years, you can easily go up to 12 if you have Intune skill set. So, so we have established how you know how much you can make. Now, let me uh, tell you, okay, uh, the difference between SCCM and Intune because most of you guys would have heard about SCCM, would be comfortable. Maybe at least once in your lifetime, uh, you would have seen SCCM console. Okay, so let me tell you what is the difference between SCCM and Intune. So, now holistically, SCCM is mostly a on-prem end-user computing solution okay on-prem end-user computing solution now Intune is cloud end-user computing solution so when I say um, on-prem I mean 
you need on prem active directory that is the actual active directory will be inside a server okay physically present somewhere in the client environment whereas cloud end user computing solution means this is on azure cloud so any device that is talking to your azure cloud can be managed by your intune which is nothing but a mdm solution when i say mdm solution it means mobile device management solution now it has a lot of pros and cons okay accm has its pros its cons uh, intune has its pros and cons so let me give you a simple um, uh, pros of uh, uh, accm so you can do a lot of complex package deployments even the packages that is beyond 8 gb okay whereas in intune uh, the package size above 8 gb it is uh, there are some workarounds now but in the early stages um, you know we were not able to deploy the packages above 8 gb in a straightforward way okay and you can do a lot of you have there's good reporting um, opportunities when it comes to SCCM in the out of the box that's directly out of the box whereas in Intune, you don't have such a good reporting, but uh, through through various other workarounds integrated with Power BI, you can still get uh, reporting, but it's not straight out of the box. Okay. And one more thing is always for your SCCM to work, it should be in line of sight to your Active Directory, whereas in Intune, it need not be in your line of sight to your on-premise Active Directory. Okay. There are two different models that I'm going to talk about. Here. okay let me tell you what are those models which we'll be working on the first thing is this is a very basic thing it is related to your intune but not actually intune it's on the azure side okay there are two models one is azure ad join and hybrid ad so when i say azure ad join means Machines are talking directly to Azure. Hybrid AD join means machines are talking to both your on-prem AD and your Azure AD. Now, how does this look? And I want to put in a picture to your mind so that you will clearly understand. So let me open up an MS Paint. Okay. Let me put up a MS Paint so that you will clearly understand how it works. Now, let's first talk about Azure AD Join model. So let's first talk about the Azure AD Join. So what will happen is, say, imagine you have your client machine. So this is your client machine. It's a Windows 10 machine. So Windows 10 client. So I'll name, I'll name it as Client 01. Now, this machine, I want to talk to my Enterprise Active Directory. Okay, I'll keep um, say this as this as a cloud, right? So I'll put as Azure Active Directory. Now your machine is your client machine. Okay, will get enrolled to your Azure Active Directory, and you can see that entry here. Okay, line zero one. Now, how does this entry look? Let me show you. So this is my Intune console. Let me go to my console. Now, in my Azure Active Directory, I can see the machines in the device stage. So this is my Azure Active Directory, and you can see it here. Okay, that is my client machines are talking to my Azure Active Directory. You can see the machines are talking here. Now, these machines has to come to my Intune. These machines has to come to my devices Intune. Now, how will it come? Okay. Very simple. Once the machine is talking to your Azure Active Directory, 
we will enable your MDM. Okay, we will enable the MDM solution that is Intune Auto Enrollment. That means for this particular Active Directory tenant, if the client is coming here, okay, it will get automatically enrolled or automatically reflected into this particular MDM solution that becomes your client. Okay, your client comes here. Now, after your client entry comes here, your Intune will be able to manage this machine. When I say manage this machine, what it will be able to do? Okay, what it will be able to do? It will be able to install applications, install patches, uh, install PowerShell script, configure autopilot, Okay, manage inventory. Like this, it will be able to do many other activities. Now, this is completely a cloud native approach. Okay, completely a cloud native approach. You don't have any on premise Active Directory. Now, how does an on prem Active Directory look? Okay, so say, let's say again the same client. Again, the same client. So let me take it as client 01. Then now this client would already be talking to your Active Directory. This client would already be talking to your on prem Active Directory. Okay, say lab dot or something like that. Now, what will happen is you want to implement Azure Cloud into your, net, into your company. So what you will do, you will implement an Azure Cloud for this lab.com and you will make sure you sync all the devices and users from this client 01 to here. Now, once the device is being synced, again, the same scenario, you have your MDM that is enabled, okay? Now, once this MDM is enabled, okay, it will again start syncing and your client will start coming onto here. Then you will be able to manage your client here. Though this is something called a hybrid ready scenario. Now you can ask me, where does SCCM come into picture? SCCM comes here, okay? SCCM will be part of uh, your Azure Active Directory, even your SCCM also can manage this particular client. Okay, now we call that as a co-management scenario where I will be explaining very detailed about it in the class. Okay, so that you know, um, you are you are comfortable with any kind of questionnaires that calls on co-management. Okay, now this is, so this is your Azure Ready Join. Okay, this is your heavy data. So you will be working on this particular, especially more on the hybrid hybrid data joint scenarios in your production. Okay, so that if there are any issues, I'll be going through the workflows. Like when you click on something on your Intune console, okay, what is happening in the backend? So now, as I said, when we went through the devices here, those devices will be in your um, Intune console. So when you click on something on your console, what is the workflow that will happen? Say you are deploying an application. How is the application getting deployed? Where it is getting copied? In SCCM, you clearly know it is going to CCM cache. But in Tune, there is no CCM cache. Okay, there is some other cache, which I will show you now. So like this you should be able to get through the workflow so for application deployment you have about 32 steps that there will be explained okay so that while troubleshooting you can clearly know where your application is stuck this is satisfied this having any other issues 
okay because in intune you have very little navigation over um, the operating system because you, you are completely on the cloud based console whereas in accm you you are you have access to the physical servers okay you have access to the physical servers got it so any questions till now guys guys any questions am i audible yeah yeah yes yes, yes. now now uh, uh, just to just to have a, a small uh, introduction about your intune console so this is the console uh, it's it's uh, the, the lab is going to be a completely uh, uh, a three months uh, 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 trial lab that will get and you, you can always say keep on extending your trial okay and what i will be doing is i'll be creating a lab for the the current class on 5th okay and i'll be giving each of you your ids okay and i'll be making you guys an intune administrators in the lab and i will also give you a software uh, to install on your uh, personal machine uh, oracle virtual box or vmware so that you can have your own windows 10 machine i will also give you the iso image for that so that you can start practicing from day 1 in the separate lab that you will be having okay for the class so each one of you will have your ids and after every every uh, class is done a recording will be shared with you guys and you can see the recording and you can practice once the class is over now let me um, give you a simple application deployment that i have deployed onto the end user machine how that flow happens how the installation happens shall we see that yeah 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 please yeah, yeah. yes now if i open my virtual machine let me resume my virtual machine in the meantime i see um, somebody named prashant has joined uh, prashant in the meantime can you just tell about yourself please and you have to unmute yeah. hello hello yeah is yeah. audible yeah. yes i have 4 years of uh, experience in ssm i am looking for uh, into this is perfect for you now let me go ahead now if you see i have something called as company portal okay now before i install this app okay before i install this seven zip app okay i am going to open up two locations okay so that you can see how an application gets downloaded and how it gets installed and also the respective log for it okay so that you can have a perspective how the other concepts will be told other other concept will be told in in a similar fashion in a very detailed workflow so that you can troubleshoot accordingly okay so let me go to the location so it's c program files c program files microsoft intune management extension content so what will happen is when i click on install okay or reinstall the content will start coming here and then it will go to something called as ime cache where it will get extracted so let's go to that also so c colon slash windows slash ime so here your content will get extracted so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to show you okay the flow that is going to happen you're going to see it with your eyes after i click on install okay shall we go and do that so if your 7z publication is not installed on this machine you can see in the rp entry it is not there okay so now let me go ahead click on reinstall in the meantime let me open 
these two. Ha, it's basically downloading now. You can see it is downloading the bin folder here. Okay, now it is going to get extracted here. Wait for it, watch this. Like this, this is just two steps I'm showing you. Like this, there are so many steps that you will be seeing. See, it got you. Saw that, guys? See, your 7-zip application got downloaded. And now, what will happen is, once it gets installed, see, it's installed successfully, it will delete itself. You can see both the files got deleted. Were you guys able to capture that information? All of you? Yeah? Yes. So like this, you will be seeing workflows for most of the activities that we will be doing in the class. Now, there are some advantages for this. There are some disadvantages for this. In a system, what will happen? It will get downloaded to CCM cache. Okay. And from there, it will get installed. And it will stay in the cache for a few days. But here, it will get deleted immediately. So when it gets deleted immediately, if your machine, if your application has to go for repair, then there will be a problem during the repair because it will look for a source. So how do you solve all those things? So these are the things that we will be talking about in the class. Actual production-based scenarios. Okay. And what I will be sharing is, along with uh, you know me teaching you the concepts i'll be telling you where to use the concept and how better you can take these concepts to your client when you get into a call with the client you will be knowing exactly how the intune capability is and its limitations so that you can execute within the limitations of your intune clear all of you getting the point here now let's see what is installed i can see I can let me refresh. See, I can see my 7-zip is installed. I can see you can launch it here. So, sir, I have one question. Go ahead. Hello. Uh, Go ahead. Ask about in in SCM, uh, the install package will get installed, uh, will get remains in CCM cache, right? Uh, exactly. We can make the changes being SCM admin. We can delete it instantly. Also, we can purchase it for few months or so days. Right? It, you can install, you can delete yeah, it. Yeah, but here, here we can set it for specific time, or it's uh, uh, there is no such option to keep it. Uh, there is no uh, such option for you to set it. Okay, okay. No, never right. No, no set, no such option. So, 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 uh, this install application where it is actually it is on cloud. So it is on cloud. It? So basically what happened is I have already staged this application on cloud because it will take a, since this is a um, demo class, since it will take a long time for me to show. So I have already staged this application in our Intune console. You can see it here. Okay. The same app has been deployed. Okay. okay. So I have already staged it in my Intune console and I have deployed it to a specific a set of uh, assignment groups we call it as collection and the device status you can see here it has been installed okay so i'll also be talking about the, all this device status user status in the class okay now you have any questions on this no, no, I'm done. Okay. now uh, uh, let me uh, so i know your good name i did not remember actually my name is kishore yeah yeah kishore this is indra Actually, if it is yeah. Office 365 application, right, then file size will be around 5 to 6 GB. So, uh -huh. if file got missed on the user machine in order to fix the issue, so how we can, again, we need to copy so the So, what will happen file. is, what will happen is at that point in time, you should little be smart, you will be doing a Windows to application, right? At that point in time, what you can do, you can copy the application to a temp location. Okay, you, you should script it in such a way. It's an automated script. Okay, you have to call. what we do is we download the app with IME cache. Then the app will get copied to your uh, temp location. From temp location, it will get executed. Okay, okay I got it. Uh, you mean to say okay. that uh, normally instead of uh, 
running the source from the uh, default location we need to copy that source into some other location and we need to keep the logic in the script that the uh, script should run the script from that location right? exactly exactly so, if you know a little bit of packaging very very helpful and i will also be teaching you our app deployment toolkit because by intune by just showing you intune it is not going to help you in a holistic 360 degrees issues you cannot solve all the issues so what i did okay. was i put in a little bit of hcm concepts uh, wherever intune gets uh, linked and i put in a little bit of uh, packaging concept so that when you say okay no you know intune company uh, and and i did follow a lot of uh, udemy classes i did check out um, you know to to make my class better okay i did check out a lot of uh, other youtube videos and all those things um, uh, first thing is i didn't find them structured i didn't find them easy to understandable uh, to to anybody with a three or four years experience okay it, it should be like you should basically separate the concepts you should tell them in a layman terms but i didn't find that so the whole point of my classes are to make sure that you find intune easy it should not be something complicated okay it is it should be easy in terms of workflows okay um and since it's a fairly new tool not many people know about it you will be seeing you know how whenever you do something how does it reflect on the event viewer uh, how does it basically reflect on your log files okay now i installed an application there is a log file for this right so if you go yeah, yeah. if you go let me show you the log percentage program data percentage then microsoft then intune management extension logs so you have this log so uh, this log file is for uh, installation issue or for everything for, we not can only see. for installation anything that you deploy you'll be seeing it here i did deploy some powershell scripts and i can see that powershell yeah. scripts here i did i know i deployed a win32 app okay so uh, see, okay yeah, okay. See, I uh, if, okay. Uh, if we push the policies uh, like configuration policy, compliance policy, conditional access policies, so you, those you policies will be able to, you will be able to see that as well. Okay? okay, you will be able to see that as well. I also tell you how it works and all those things. Okay, now okay. so when you deploy an app, you can see all those details here. Okay, and also I did uh, deploy some PowerShell script. You can see all those things here. Now these are the things that you will also look into. Now when it comes so, to the hope... job, okay, yeah, go ahead. No, no, you can, you can. I will ask yeah, it then. It comes... <laughs> yeah, no problem. When it comes to the job, okay, you guys can basically see how many job openings are there, and you can see that everybody is looking. See, if you see here, I just put in tune jobs. They're looking for SCCM and Intune. And the kind of experiences, if they ask for 12 to 16 years, obviously they're looking for about three to four years in Intune. So three to four years kind of a knowledge, you will you, you will get way more than that in the class. That's a different thing. But there are a lot of openings. Make use of this opportunity because the interviews will be easier to crack now. And the later, it is going to be difficult because a lot of people would be would have already been worked on Intune and uh, they're going to make your life difficult in cracking the interviews. Now, not many people know about Intune. Yes, yes, Pavan, you have a question. Tell me. Yes, Pavan, tell me. Yeah, nothing, no question. I will have a question. Kishore, uh, you're going to explain uh, background, calls, uh, background process also, right? Uh, how windows will get uh, exactly while what will happen yes for, for autopilot okay. it's going to be very intense class is going to be very intense because uh, see in autopilot one of the major problems we'll face in azure adhesia nobody find any problem okay it'll happen yeah. smoothly and all those things but hybrid azure adhesia you will have nightmares because why um, you are basically inheriting an old legacy ad infrastructure and trying to integrate that infrastructure onto your uh, cloud. Am I right when it comes to Azure in autopilot in uh, Azure Hybrid Region? Now, what will happen there is when you initiate an autopilot, your activities in your on-premise AD also should happen within certain time limit. That's about 60 minutes. 
okay if by chance if it is not happening in within the 60 minutes your autopilot will fail now if your autopilot will fail it will fail for entire region your client will not approve the it, they will not even approve the project because the project is a failure because it is not giving you 100 percent success rate you getting the point because yeah user will be somewhere across the globe you might have a line of sight to your on-premise active directory okay but if if the machine objects are not getting created on time so all there are about uh, 14 steps that i'll be talking about when it comes to on-premise azure active directory that's 14 steps is how a machine when initiated how all it will flow till the end so you'll be seeing all those things okay so these are the things I will be, well, I will be not, see, uh, it will not be like your Udemy class, it will not be like your YouTube, 100% it will not be like that, okay? It's going to be a completely uh, production-oriented class that you will be looking into, okay? Whatever is required for you to survive your current projects, that will be done, okay? Because I myself handle about six to seven projects when it comes to internet. So currently where you are working and from which state you belong to? Uh, Bhavan, I am not at the liberty to say that. You can take me that I work for Lara Online Training, but I work in Bangalore, one of the organizations mm -hmm. uh, where I, mm -hmm. I architect solutions on India. Okay, Maybe later when, when, I, when you join my class, you can talk about all those things on yes. a personal level. Kishore, I have a quick question. Uh, yes. I'm sorry. Uh, when you were referring to me as Vijay, uh, I that's not I my name actually. Vijay, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My name is Vinod, and I work Vinod, on application okay, packaging. Yeah, I have about ten years of experience into it. Only packaging. I deal with uh, application deployment through SCM and Intune, but not the other areas. Oh, for ten years, that's huge, man. Very less skill set. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I've been because, assisted uh, with one company for about six, seven years. So, <clears throat> oh, I understand now. Yeah, yeah tell me. Yeah. So, whenever you deploy an application through Intune, um, unlike SSCM, we will not be able to have an option to uninstall uh, through the company portal. Okay. So, how do we address that issue? You can try to do a required deployment. You can do a required uninstall. That you can do. You can deploy okay. it as a machine and you can do that also okay. do you use app Not... development toolkit right we do that yes if you're using app deployment toolkit uh, it. i would say um see mostly if it is in the company portal uh, so basically you're giving company portal is basically for people who are uh you're giving a user an option to install That's so right. yes uh, so users don't normally don't uninstall there's only reinstall option there, right? So right. how you can manage that is by using the required mode and installing. Mostly okay. unlicensed apps or something, you push it. Okay, but if a licensed app, it has to go through the approval process. Okay. okay. Fine, Kishan, yeah, that is all. Okay. I will discuss, but these kind of questions are pretty interesting. If, if in the class, if you can put this, we can actually brainstorm on and these kind of discussions. Sure, Kishu. Sure. Yeah. Yes. Yes, uh, Vinod. Prashant. Yeah, Prashant, tell me. Hello. You yes, are going Prashant. to tell uh, Intune live project, right? Intune? Live, uh, live project, uh, everything in the class. Live project will not be there. We'll be creating live project scenarios. I will not be showing okay. a production. I will not be showing any production of anything. There's a lot of compliance there. Nobody will show you live projects ever. Okay. And also everything partly in the Intune portal, right? Yes. Whatever is everything. required for your production, uh, a, a syllabus will be shared to you already. Those will be showed. Okay. okay. I'm be pretty more than that. It will be showed. Yeah. Because I keep adding new yeah, things thanks. every time when I do yeah. a new class. Okay. Others, uh, Deepak, Shivram, you guys are uh, pretty silent. Any questions you have? And when it comes to your investment onto this class, and if you're serious about it, trust me, you, whatever your current salary is, um, if you're three years or four years experienced, you'll be sought after in the uh, 
the job market if you have the skill set because i myself look to hire a lot of indian people and we are not getting into so uh, when 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 that's kind of a uh, um, what to say limitation and say intune people in windows platform windows and mobile platforms are not, are there here and there but um, but in, uh, in windows platform it is very very less okay because the opportunities are less um, in the projects as such but the opportunities are increasing now in the job market and a lot of future projects are going to be um, hybrid and uh, going to be on most on India. So uh, this is a, this is going to be a very good investment that you're making on yourself. Yeah. Any Hi, other Deepak. questions? Yeah, yeah Deepak, tell me. Okay, I joined the class late. I was running and meeting. Okay, so I just got time and I joined. There. So by six thirty five. So I missed the initial part. Okay. Still... Uh, okay, but uh, I, I can share you the recording also. I can have a conference okay. with you. But if you have any questions okay. on Intune, I'll answer. Yeah. So, uh, like how we learn as CCM, we installed a lab in the VM and all. Mm. Okay. So, how mm -hmm. same thing we are going to learn the Intune? Okay. I want to understand first because so, it's uh, an online portal. So, uh, here. Uh, see in SCCM when you learn, I, I teach SCCM in the Azure cloud. Okay, so I build a, a SCCM primary site, I build a um, SQL server, I build a AD, and then I build a client. So four machines will 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 try to showcase all the scenarios. Whereas when it comes to uh, Intune, if you will enable the tenants, you'll have a unique, you'll have a separate tenant for your class, and you will be given your uh, separate Intune administrator's email ID. Okay. Uh, where you can you can start playing around with your login console with the Intune admin access and on your physical machine on your personal laptop I'll give you Oracle virtual box or I'll give you a, a VMware Okay, you had and I'll give you a Windows 10 ISO you have to build your uh, Windows 10 machine on that and you have to connect to the tenant Which I'm going to create okay. and then play okay. play with that. So all the scenarios you can play with that Okay, so okay. basically the same way you learned your uh, SCCM in an Intune. Yeah. Okay. So no other okay. investment like uh, uh, how the Azure no we have to put the No money nothing, board. nothing. Other than your personal machine, is zero okay. money involved. Okay, other okay. than your fees, nothing else you want to invest on. So is there a time limit for this or we can do this for infinite time, <laughs> whatever it is? No, this lab, you can have it for about three months. But I'll give you a link. You have your own Intune trial tenant later okay. after it the class is done. credit card base, uh, free. No, no uh, credit card, time. nothing. No okay, credit directly card access to your portal, no? okay. directly, directly. Okay. Uh, is that discussion happened for the course fee and the course duration and everything? Because I missed those parts, so I guess it has done. The, I did not. I, I, I course duration is about 20 hours. Okay. Um, okay. A course fee, you can talk to the coordinator. Okay. Okay. And 20 hours for how long it will go? Means within one month, uh, two months. Within, within a month. Within a month. Within a month? Monday, Monday to Friday, the class will be there. Okay. Uh, uh, but uh, very difficult to manage every day. Means Monday to Friday is a mm -hmm. uh, critical yeah, timing yeah. and all of this. Yeah. During the yeah, matching hours. Sunday, and, right? we can yeah. manage. Practically, we can't manage. Okay. One day, or twice, or weekend, we can manage. But in weekdays, not possible. Uh, that, that that's up to you because uh, it's, it's up to you to decide you want to, uh, I, so uh, any classes on weekend uh, as of now i have not planned on the weekends due to my personal commitments on the weekends um in yeah. case if i plan i'll let you know the institute and they will inform yeah. because our office also me. opened okay so there is no work from home for us okay so we have to go understand so most of the time i would suggest the people if you don't have any meeting at that slot say from eight to nine if you don't have an actual meeting at that slot, then attend. That's what I would suggest to people. Okay, because the class will be for about one hour, sharp one hour. So you should uh, that should not make an impact. If you have a meeting, say a daily huddle or something, it's impossible. But if you don't have a meeting because you can access any any computer, you can attend. That's not a problem. It's online, right? You not go, go to an office or something. You not go to a training center. So this is what I suggest uh, because sure. people from I'm US sure from the office and all we can access. I have to check the same link which given in the 
in the same same link. Demo class. Same link. Okay. Same link. Okay. You will be shared in the WhatsApp and you should be able to do because most of the time my students, uh, people from US and all when they join, they will be having, but if they don't have any meetings or something at that slot, they actually join my classes. Okay. It's because okay. I also have a full time job and I'm a practitioner in this, not a full fledged trainer. So I, with whatever free time I have, um, I'm doing this. So generally what time your means uh, conduct so this class is going to be on 8 to 9. This class is scheduled to be 8 to 9 Monday to Friday. 8 to 9. 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. No. No. My working hours is covered in that part and uh, you we have most of them should be evening uh, afternoon shifts. Come again. Evening right 8 to 9. E evening 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, because um, the currently I work in an impact shift, so I have I have continuous meetings from morning 4 a.m. and things like that. So uh, so when that gets free up, maybe I might I might think of a morning slot as of now. But uh, currently my slots are I have a class from uh, 7 to 8 and 8 to 9. So I take two batches as of now. Yeah. Any, any questions? Any other questions? Any technical questions? And guys, uh, your 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 uh, your questions are not limited to Intune. You can talk to me about um, packaging or uh, SCCM as well. Uh, we can even discuss that. Uh, whatever is your ongoing projects or something, you can even discuss that during the class. So that's not a problem. It's not limited um, to my course or anything. Okay. Uh, so my client has requested to onboard some of the Intune people. Okay, so mm -hmm. what my company told me, management told me, either you learn or hire the Intune people. So we are not getting the Intune people from the market in our budget. So we decided to learn. Okay. So that is our plan. That's the whole point of my course. Um, we yeah. ourselves are not getting Intune people. We are struggling. Um, uh, so I, I myself are doing a lot of internal trainings, making them compliant with the current requirements. So. Okay. I only worked on SCCM and this uh, operating system deployment and this uh, CMG. Okay, so CMG would be helpful for us in learning into. Is that correct? CMG is not part of your into. CMG is part of your SCCM, and uh, okay. uh, I don't teach that here. Okay, CMG is if you have your SCCM and if you configured your CMG in that, you can manage your clients over internet. Okay, yeah. it has nothing to but, do with your uh, We put so much effort uh, for bringing the CMG in our infra. And that time people told us that uh, this uh, skills will help to improve or just uh, implement the interview. Okay. What skills? Maybe I will try. A CMG, what Intune. effort do you need? You just have to put in some three certificates and have a cloud uh, 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 storage for it and it will start working. Okay. That's yeah, Deepak, it's not related to Intune, it's only related to okay. SCCM only. I also implement yes. it at one client and uh, it's uh, nothing related to Intune, it's typically related to SCCM. It's completely, I recently implemented yeah. one CMG about uh, three weeks back. It's yeah. Nothing related to Intune. They don't even have Intune. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Azure yeah. And those of you not, yeah. And those of you not dropped your phone numbers, please to drop because you know, later if, if only only once I've been instructed, I've, I've clearly told them to only once to call you guys or message you guys and not not to harass. So, so don't worry about your harassment and all those things. So please drop the numbers just for you know for me to be clarity that who is attending. Please drop your numbers. Here in the chat box. Yes. Okay. What what is the course fees? Ah, uh, they will tell you, man. I I don't indulge on course fees. They should have told you now. If they're not told you, they'll tell you. Uh, so they'll call you and they'll tell you. Okay. So are you going to help uh, with the clear the certification? Okay. Now here the point is there is no certification for Intune as such. Therefore, Windows certification MD100, MD101. In that a very small part is Intune. Maybe two or three questions you'll get. Okay. But there is no certification okay. for Intune for SCCM or for packaging. It was there, okay. 7703 was there, but now it is not there. In 2019, it stopped. So, uh, uh, getting sure, uh, job certification uh, not required. If you have the knowledge, you'll sure. get. 
जस्ट एक एम टू नो की एम एस वन जीरो जीरो एंड एम एस वन जीरो वन इज टिपिकली Uh, yeah, for, for the, the prerequisite, the you have your prerequisite as SC three hundred and things. Those things are there, na. You have mm -hmm. to complete those prerequisites also before you go to MS hundred and MS one zero one. So MS hundred and MS one zero one will be helpful for Indian guy, right? Definitely, definitely, it will be helpful. Okay. But it's completely native. Yeah, because I already did hundred and MS. Don't go for MS. Mm -hmm. Go for MD. MD hundred. No, I already MD. done. Kishore, I already did my MD hundred and one zero one. Then, then, then go for MS now. If you're not done it. But actually, yeah. But uh, I have did it before two years back, and it got expired on last uh, last month only. And renew it now. Nah. Why are you letting it expire? Renew it. You will get a small yeah, email from Microsoft, and you should just answer a few questions. They will renew it now. Free renewal. But uh, free renewal. But uh, how it is work? Uh, we have to pay something, or it is free of cost? No, free. It's free. They will I send you an email to your Gmail ID, whichever registered email ID in their MCSA portal, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and you will have to take one small exam, um, and mm -hmm. that will be around I mean, 60 questions or something. To answer those questions within the time limit, uh, okay. you, you so, get cleared. I, I normally keep taking all these renewal exams. So, so that is I, there I, any no, I'm restriction, doing. time restriction, duration restriction uh, to one complete year, one the year data? One year, one okay, year to take. No, no. After expiry date, is there any time limitation? Before that I time, we have man. to complete it, or I don't what know, is it? But, but, I, but I can check out. Actually, I don't know. I have to check out because I get an email one weekend, one afternoon when I'm free. I just do it. Yeah, please let me know if possible. Sure, sure, sure. I'll check it out. Hello, Kishore. Yes, yes, Uday. Yeah, I'm getting I'm getting offer uh, from client side uh, to work on Intune. Okay, which is MECM. Okay, so I but I don't have knowledge uh, about SCM and all. So is there any way to uh, so what I have to learn to... SCM or I am directly going for uh, see if Intune. it depends on how much your how much your work in SCM, how much your work in Intune. If it is small okay. application deployment work or something things like that, okay, you can manage with whatever is available. But if it is a very uh, big role, like you are managing infra, you are managing, you have to do patch management and all those things. Uh, take up a proper course. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. That will really help you. Okay. okay. CCM and Intune, if you know, uh, currently the market is pretty good. We are not getting resources for Intune. It's a nightmare. Okay. Even if you know little bit Intune, uh, we basically basically grab Intune in Windows, not on the um, not on the mobility side. Okay. Yes. There is Thank huge you. opportunities currently, and also, guys, uh, if if um, you know if you have your friends also, please do ask them to sign up. Um, uh, if if they have time and they want to invest in themselves, ask them to sign up. It will really help for us to be <laughs> hire some people from the market. <laughs> okay. Uh, because I do. Uh, For one role, we take about fifteen, twenty interviews these days. Earlier, it within four, five, it used to finish. Uh, all these intern roles are becoming so difficult, and uh, we are getting false positive resumes like uh, uh, people with mobility experiences, which is not required. Anyway, so that's about it. If you guys don't have any uh, question, I can close the class. Yeah. Kishore, can you uh, show me the which topics covered? Uh, okay, give me a minute. Let me. Yeah, Kishore, and uh, BitLocker encryption is also covered under your syllabus. So oh, we can cover that one. That is not covered, but if you ask me to cover it, I, if you ask me to cover it, I'll cover it. Not a problem. Ma'am, MDM. There's no limitation or such that I will only stick to syllabus and all those kind of stuff is not there. You come with something new. I want to learn this. we can make up a class we can do it okay it should be a collaborative approach so it's not going to be like i'll only do so much no it's not it'll not be like that if you don't know something then we'll do it that's it okay uh um, okay yeah this is the syllabus pa uh, basically like you'll be uh, doing about intune enrollments uh, 
uh, app deployment, PowerShell deployment, filters, autopilot, methods of autopilot, conditional access, reporting, um, uh, are back on all those things. Co-management, co I have not put here, but I'll teach in the class. It's part of my content. Uh, it'll, it'll be a little bit of theory class on the co-management, uh, but it'll be there. I have not put it here, but I, I did add it uh, on my actual content. This thing. courses. Yeah, we got that syllabus from the institute also on WhatsApp. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, anything else you guys want? Any other questions? Mm, I think such uh, once class will resume, we will definitely ask you a lot of questions. Uh, you should ask me a lot of questions. Uh, I encourage people to ask a lot of questions. But currently, we also don't have that much knowledge about Intune, so we don't have that Google much questions. Google up and come, man. Google up and come. You ask me. If I know, yeah, I'll yeah, no. If I don't know, I will learn and tell you. If it's started, <laughs> then questions will automatically raise. Definitely, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay, we have, we will do it. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. Yeah, I have to get into class in the next five minutes. So, anyway, um, thank you so much uh, for joining the demo. I hope to see you all of you guys in the class. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.